Hi friends, welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to fix the hot start issues on older GM carbureted vehicles, mostly quadrajet equipped vehicles, but just like on my actually Impala with Edel broke, I still had huge hot start issues. So the way it works, usually if your truck starts great cold or car whatever, and then uh, once it gets a little bit warmer uh, outside and once you drive it for a while, you shut it off, it'll start right back up just fine, but if you come back in 15-20 minutes, it will be kind of a pain to start. And the reason why is there's a fuel in carburetor balls uh, that pretty much boils and pretty much makes it makes it hard to start. So, but to fix this issue, go to your local AutoZone or part of your choice and get this cheap little thing. It's a Mr. Gasket 3406, uh, pretty much a carburetor spacer. So. Uh, what it will do, it will space out carburetor from hot intake manifold and uh, uh, will help you with hot starts. Cool, let's get to it. All right, start the disassembly here. Pretty much with carburetors, they mount it fairly simply. It's only four bolts on the carburetor, but uh, you do have to pretty much disconnect everything that's connected to the carburetor. So it might seem like a lot of stuff, but it's not really that bad. So the bolts that connect in carburetor are actually right in the back over here, and in the front of the carb here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the uh, fuel filter. So we have a one inch. Uh, one inch uh, wrench use that if you don't you can use the adjustable wrench and I strongly suggest using a uh, line wrench because this thing is gonna be on tight as shit especially if it hasn't been changed in a decade or two so let's see if we can break this bastard loose without hurting ourselves now we have to go grab Another wrench, we're gonna use good old wrench and wrench method. And that broke it loose. All right, I said they're gonna be kind of pain in the ass to break through unless somebody was actually maintaining, but this old square body, nobody ever maintains them. So, so yeah, once we break it loose. Oh yeah, when you do this, try not to smoke around it. <laughs> so there's going to be some fuel that will come out. We're actually going to put a little rag underneath it. To capture some of the fuel. Not much fuel in it, but there will be some in the filter, I promise. Okay, then we just use our one incher to break that loose, unless it was already slightly loose. So not much. 
much room to work on over here. And you can go and disconnect a whole bunch of fittings and then there's a little bit more room, but we're gonna try to get to it. I have to get something to grab it. This filter actually made in Taiwan, so it's definitely, definitely not original, like most of this truck. But since it's fairly cheap, I suggest to replace it anyway. I'm somewhat lazy. Make sure you just don't lose the spring. I try to do this without disconnecting everything and just maybe pulling it over to a side a little bit. And see if we can do it from that angle. Where you at? There you are. There should be one more up on here. If I can get to it. Ooh, the bracket is over it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So let's see if we can get this guy off. without taking a bunch of extra steps, a bunch of necessary steps, mind you. This is a right thing doing it wrong way type of deal, the usual. connect cruise control clip and stuff too to get to it because it doesn't seem to be letting me out all right it's not cooperating so i'm undoing brake booster to see if it'll cooperate better without brake booster i have a slight feeling that i still might have to i still might have to actually take everything off but we're gonna try to do lazy first and see if lazy will work. Because half the time lazy does work. Okay, so it seems like it's kind of working. All right, we got gas spilling everywhere. So every, every, everything's normal. Okay, all right, so now our carburetor spacer comes with absolutely zero instructions. So, two gaskets and a spacer. But, I highly doubt that it's anything more sophisticated than, you know, putting one gasket on one side, one gasket on the other side, and spacer on the other side. So we're gonna try to maneuver it all in. Maybe should grab a stud or two. See if we can get the studs on. All right, so let's make sure that we put it up properly this time. So, okay, this guy goes like upside down, boom, boom, maybe, come on, there we go, all right, <clears throat> cool, all right, so let's get another gasket thrown on there. Get 
crap on it. And I get paint marker on my camera. <coughs> Alright, now we're gonna mount everything back up. And then use our older linkage. Carburetor real quick. Almost dialed in. Make sure that your linkage goes back forward like it's supposed to. That's good. Just wipe off all the fuel that dripped down while we were working over here. Now we're gonna do a quick start. Make sure it starts and idles. Make sure nothing gets in fire, make sure there's no leaks. Might take a minute to crank, since you removed the fuel filter and drained it out a little. But I did manually pump it a few times, so... So this little spacer uh, will pretty much fix your uh, hits of hot start issues. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit subscribe, hit thumbs up on the video if you like the video. Uh, if you guys uh, haven't subscribed yet, uh, we do car reviews, tool reviews, DIY stuff, lots of old stuff, Gambler 500, all nine yards. Hopefully you guys subscribe and have fun. Take care, have a good day.